everybody, good evening. Welcome back to the channel where it is time for my match preview to Liverpool against West Ham on Monday Night Football on the 24th of February. Now, this is another big, big game for the Reds uh, because obviously Manchester City will have played Leicester City uh, as well on um, Saturday. So, you know, it's a chance for the Reds to redeem themselves after a a really poor performance against Atletico Madrid, but I will get into the Liverpool side of things very, very shortly. West Ham are a team totally null and void of confidence right now. Um, one win in their last nine games. Uh, David Moyes has only two wins in his nine games in charge at this present moment in time in his second spell. Um, the, obviously his only win was against Bournemouth in the Premier League 4-0 and uh, and then obviously they won 2-0 in the FA Cup at Gillingham but just ever since then it has just gone so wrong for West Ham I mean, if I'm being honest I think there's probably a lot of people would have probably predicted West Ham to be in the top half me included I actually had them to be probably I think, I think it was either 9th or 10th in my Premier League predictions but how wrong we've all been and uh, you know it's been just a total uh, bad season uh, to say the least for uh, for West Ham and to be honest with you this squad has to be doing better uh, it really really has to be uh, I don't think anyone expected them to be in the relegation zone um, and you know obviously their boardroom unrest as well it's not it's not good for West Ham but some of their players I mean you know I look, I look, I look at their goalkeeper Lukas Fabianski. Yes, he has been injured a lot. I will get, I'll, t I'll say that now. But he's a top goalkeeper. He really, really is. Very, very good goalkeeper. Obviously, they've re-signed Darren Randolph as well from uh, Middlesbrough, as well. And obviously, they've got David Martin uh, from um, MK Dons uh, as well. So another, another one you could even have to say as well. Ha Sebastian Haller, that was their big money signing. He's not proved up to the the test, but but then again, you know, he's a target man. West Ham have not been playing the way that they want to with uh, with Haller uh, as well. And Mikel Antonio as well, another very good striker. Um, Mark Noble, obviously captain, leader. You know, he's he's a he's a good player. Andre Yarmolenko as well. Felipe Anderson, Jared Bowen. Now they've signed as well. So, <clears throat> you know, they've got a really good squad. Declan Rice, of course, England international. Uh, Manuel Lanzini as well. Uh, you know, it's a very, very good squad. Um, so this this is a real, real surprise that they are in the relegation zone. But it has to be said, their season has gone really bad from bad to worse. I mean, they've just they've just sold their best defender, in my opinion, uh, Winston Reid. He's joined um, someone in the MLS on loan until the end of the season. So, you know, that's another defender that they've lost. And to be honest with you, it's just... It's just going from bad to worse for West Ham, and um, I was really, really hoping that they would, uh, you, they would finish, you know, top half. Um, we've got Sly Old Fox and Robert Snodgrass as well. He's, uh, they've got some good, good players. West Ham. It's, just, it's not, not about the, not about the team. It just seems a bit way about the gel uh, of the team. And obviously, the start with Mel Mel Pellegrini as manager earlier this season. And it just hasn't worked out. It's just not worked out for for West Ham. And then you know, I, I I honestly was very surprised when they went back to David Moyes, because obviously it wasn't very very good from uh, from him. So yeah, it's it's a bit of a surprise that he's back in charge. Um, he's never won at Anfield. Touch wood. Obviously, uh, obviously this game has been played on Monday. So you know, it'd be interesting to see that one, but. Yeah, it's, it has to be said, it's not good to see uh, West Ham in the relegation zone. Um, and um, to be honest, none of their last sort of 10, 11, 12 games are winnable anyway. So, you know, I do really fear for West Ham, uh, in all honesty. So, be interesting to see. Um, as far as team news is concerned, uh, their only main injury is Ryan Fredericks. He is awaiting a scan on ankle ligament damage. I think it's I think it's something like that. Um, so he will miss he will miss the trip uh, to uh, to Anfield. Will Jared Bowen get a debut for for West Ham? That's that's another one you could have to you'd have to say. Uh, in their last game against Manchester City, actually, 
I did notice that uh, Felipe Anderson, Sebastian Haller, Pablo Fornals, um, Manuel Anzini were all on the bench for the game against Manchester City. So, if I'm a West Ham supporter, I would have to I would have to say that that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, and what is David Moyes thinking of? I mean, it was not not a good performance against West uh, against Manchester City, but you know they managed to keep the score down to two nil. Um, but you know, back to back trips to you know the top two, obviously uh, Manchester City and now obviously Liverpool on Monday. It's it's a big big task for uh, for West Ham. And, yeah, uh, it's going to be very, very, very interesting. Now, Liverpool side of things, um, yeah, no good news. Jordan Henderson has been ruled out for three weeks with a hamstring injury. At least it's only three weeks, though. So, time period, I mean, he's going to miss, obviously, West Ham. He's always going to miss Watford. He will miss the Chelsea um, FA Cup tie. He will miss Bournemouth. He may well be back for Atletico Madrid, though. He may well be a back for Atletico Madrid. If it's not that, then he will definitely be back for the game against Everton at Goodison Park. So that will be interesting to see for sure. As far as a team news is concerned, like I've said, Jordan Henderson is the only one that's really out. Um, Nathaniel Klein and obviously Jordan Shakiri are both long-term injuries uh, as well. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, you know Shakiri and Klein... Um, It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see if they would make it. Um, so that's kind of uh, allowed um, a midfield place to be brought up. So it'd be interesting to see uh, who. Um, it'd be interesting to see who actually comes in to the Liverpool team. Um, I do think there'll be changes in this in this game. I do actually think there'll be changes. Um, don't be surprised if Genie Van Adam gets a rest. I think he's been very very leggy um, recently. So I think he. I think he does need a rest. Um, especially after the, the Atletico Madrid game. Let's just quickly talk about that. Atletico Madrid, um, it was not a very good performance. Um, yes, Atletico Madrid deserved a win, th thoroughly deserved a win, uh, the first leg. Um, defended absolutely amazingly. Um, but it has to be said that we were very, very poor on the night. Uh, we didn't even have a shot on target. That was the, that was the worst thing about it as well. Um, so... You know, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how, you know, I, I'm, I, would, I would imagine the, the Reds will bounce back for sure. But it's a really, really horrible uh, thing to, to, to go to the Wonder Metropolitano and, and lose and not, not have a shot, a single shot on target. But yeah, probably the worst performance of the season, probably the worst performance in 12 months as well. So yeah, West Ham, uh, this is, this is, I think this is a very, very good game for Liverpool, uh, obviously I have to be wary, because they're a very good side, West Ham, and unfortunately, like I said, they are in the relegation zone, so it's a bit, it's, it'll be interesting to see how their mindset will be as well, uh, because obviously, um, they lost to Manchester City, um, and to be honest, you know, we played them a couple of weeks ago, and that was going on three, that was going on four, that was going on five, no, uh, as well, so you know, uh, Liverpool scored four goals uh, in the last two meetings with West Ham at Anfield. Uh, obviously, it was a four-one win and it was a four-nil win. So Liverpool got a very good record against West Ham. Uh, Liverpool won four out of the last five against West Ham. So that's another one you couldn't have to say. So this is where to get interested. This gets really interesting. Team news now. Um, Henderson is obviously out. So. That has freed up a midfield space. So who gets the midfield space? So we will see. So my team would be Alison Becker in goal because obviously number one goalkeeper um, did not have a single chance with the Sol Niguez goal uh, the other night. So uh, he will come back in for sure. He'll, he, he will be he'll be he'll be a number one uh, goalkeeper for sure. So he he will be in goal. Uh, right back, Trent Alexander Arnold probably had one of his worst games. Uh, in all honesty, kept giving the ball away. Um, seen loads of fans this week just give him absolute stick. Um, especially Jeannie Van Aldem as well gets to tell you to get out of our club. I mean, we, we've lost two games all year. We have lost two games all year. So you know that's that's just that's just ridiculous that people are getting on players' backs. But that is the that is the way that uh, social media works these days. And unfortunately. 
Um, there are a couple of players that, that get the wrath, but uh, Chan Alexander Arnold will be a right back. Centre back, uh, I don't see there any change. I think it'll be Joe Gomez. Um, yeah, Joe Gomez, quite simple. And then obviously alongside him will be probably captain Virgil van Dijk, because uh, obviously on Henderson's absence. Um, although then again, I could probably say that there'll be a one one more player that will probably play. Um, in there uh, as well, so be interesting, be very very interesting for me. But for Virgil Van Dijk, he will be uh, captain for me in, in, in this game. Um, and then alongside him, we'll have Andy Robertson, um, another player who looked a little bit leggy against uh, Atletico Madrid. And like like he said, I mean it's it's only half time in the in the in the game against Atletico, so going to be a, a going to be an interesting uh, second leg for sure. So Andy Robertson, so basically you're saying back five. Now this is where it gets interesting in uh, midfield. So, uh, Fabinho will definitely play. I think Fabinho will be that holding midfielder. So I can see Fabinho definitely playing. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I think Gini Van Alden will be given a rest in this game. So, I think the um, midfield space will go to Naby Keita. I think Naby Keita will probably come in for this game. And... Um, you know, it could be Naby Keita, it could be James Milner. You know that we've got so much depth in the field now, and it's you know it's going to be uh, interesting to see who actually plays. Um, so I'm going to go for Naby Keita uh, to play a, a lot um, alongside Fabinho. Alongside him, um, this is where it gets tricky because I could put Adam uh, Alex Oxley Chamberlain in there. I could put James Milner in there. I could put Curtis Jones in there. I could put Kerry Bella in there. Um, but highly unlikely, of course. I could put Minamino in there. Um, so, the player I've gone for, I think, and I think this game is really, really suited to this player, Adam Lalana. I think Lalana will start this game. I, I've got a really good feeling that Lalana will start. Um, I mean, we need to give. I think we need to give him five more appearances for a winner's medal. Uh, as well, so that's another thing you have to say with uh, with that one. So that I would say that uh, he will definitely get uh, a run out in this game. And then your front three speaks for itself. Sadio Mane, obviously substituted at half time against uh, Atletico, obviously got his yellow card, and obviously Jurgen Klopp thought that uh, you know that was one of the the reasons that he came off because he he couldn't trust the referee. Um, to not send them off, so that was another thing. So um, I I think Sadio Mane will keep his place. For Roberto Firmino, can Firmino finally score uh, a Premier League goal at Anfield this season? He's been dying on it, and um, he's got a good record against West Ham as well. So it'll be interesting to see. But um, for Firmino for sure, and then another player who was, who was getting a lot of stick over the 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 week there was Mohamed Salah. So that is my. Uh, starting 11 um, so it is Alison Becker uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold Joe Gomez Virgil van Dijk Andy Robertson Fabinho uh, Naby Keita Adam Lallana uh, Sadio Mane Roberto Firmino and Mohamed Salah now for the bench obviously it'll be Adrian you will have Matip um, probably Lovren because obviously um, Henderson is out uh, as well so Van Alden will be in there I would think Amin Amino will be in there, um, Oxley Chamberlain as well, and probably Origi as well. So that is it. That is my starting eleven and bench. Um, so prediction wise, um, put it this way: I think this is a game that we can basically, like the Sheffield United game, we absolutely dominated Sheffield United in that game. Um, I feel this is going to be a very good game for us. I feel that we could probably do with a with a goal a really early goal for sure um west ham are on no good form at all so it'll be interesting to see how, how their mindset comes to this game will they park the bus will they make it difficult for liverpool it'd be interesting to see um but i do think i do think they'll keep the score down um i'm not going to go for 4-0 because i think i think i think that's going to be a bit too too optimistic in all honesty but then again, we would we would like a we would like a, another big win for sure. Um, but uh, I'm not sh I'm not sure West Ham are capable of beating Liverpool at Anfield. Uh, obviously, their only victory uh, recently 
was in 2015 when they won 3-0 under Slavan Bilic. Uh, and Dejar Sako got a couple that day as well. So um, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Liverpool here. And um, my goal scorers will be, I'm going to go for Mohamed Salah. I'm going to finally say a Roberto Firmino Anfield goal this season. Um, and I will go for... I'm actually going to go for a wee cheeky Fabinho goal. I think Fabinho is, uh, will probably get a goal. But, uh, yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts on uh, on my starting 11. Uh, let me know if you make any changes as well. And also let me know your prediction for the West Ham game. I'm going 3-0. We shall see what happens for sure. But, uh, anyway, that, that wraps it up for the, the preview uh, for the, ma the Monday night game against West Ham on uh, Sky Sports. So that should be an interesting game. Looking forward to it. Um, so it'll be, it'll be a very, very interesting game. And uh, yeah, hopefully the, the Reds can definitely bounce back from the disappointment in uh, in, in Madrid for sure. And uh, we shall see what happens. But uh, anyway, if you are new around here, then please hit the subscribe button. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Smash a like on this video. Leave a comment. Obviously, like I've said, leave your um, comments for uh, the game against West Ham. Let me know you're starting 11. Let me know if you make any changes to the team I've suggested uh, as well. Uh, so we'll see. We'll still see what happens. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, come on, you Reds. Hopefully it is a win for the mighty Liverpool against West Ham. But let's see what happens as well. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll, I'll see you all in, a, in the next in the next video, when whatever that may be. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Come on, you Reds. This means more. You'll never walk alone. See you later.